I love about Karosukil. Of course, the main street is awesome because all the shopping happens there. But the streets in the back, the back streets, the little alleys, also have awesome restaurants and cafes. Small ones that you might not notice unless somebody brought you there, especially a local like myself. And so I'm going to take you around Karosukil restaurants and cafes that are in my top 10 list. So come with me because I'm sure you're going to enjoy every bite of it. is actually one of my go-to izakaya place on days where you can really think of a unique place to go that's kind of our fallback Lisa, you should check it out dining table. I think it's really pretty. I love everything on their menu but I'm going to order just um, three of my favorites because we have a lot to cover in other restaurants today. So I'm going to order this one, the Korean herb pancake with clam meat. The way they do their pancakes are very unique but if you have the stomach enough to eat more than one pancake, I do highly suggest also that you order their other pancakes because they're all very delicious. I'm going to order this one. The grilled marble beef Chinese cabbage and greens. So this is kind of like our beef salad, but Korean style. And then one of their other best sellers here, their tang. Tang, of course, means soup or hot pot. All of their hot pots are fantastic. My favorite, the mushroom and tofu hot pot. But if you're a big fan of bulgogi, I also suggest you try the pumpkin and bulgogi hot pot as well. This is also very excellent. <laughs> so we'll just get the young pumpkin and chives pancake because they ran out of my favorite clam meat pancakes. But you should try it if you visit. chosen the sliced pork marinated in the soybean paste with uh, shredded ginger. I think they use pork neck for the flavor. When you marinate pork in soybean paste, it is one of the best matches I think in the culinary world. There's something about the saltiness and the depth of flavor in penja that does very well with uh, pork and pork fat. What I love about Taishikta or Moon Dining Table is that they actually produce their own chili paste and fermented soybean paste in Suncheon. Suncheon is the area most well known for their chili paste in Korea, which is the reason why they're able to make food that are deeper in flavor. If you see their appetizers, it's very interesting. It's not a lot, but they're very healthy and very true to its nature. This is puga, seaweed that they fry with a lot of sugar to make it tasty because without the sugar, it really isn't the tastiest thing in the world but it's very, very good for you. We've got some dried lilies here. They just probably toasted this on really high heat and they've served it with their own chili paste and their own fermented soybean paste which you can just dip a little bit of. Calcium! <laughs> and of course, our favorite kimchi. Koreans cannot eat without kimchi. And some fresh vegetable chili in Korea. Usually they have the spicy variants, but when they serve it as an appetizer, they're not spicy at all. It's actually very sweet. And it's a little bit spicy, but you can eat it. Only Koreans will eat chili dipped in chili paste. <laughs> Vitamin C. 
So this is beef brisket, which is very soft and tender and fatty, where all the flavor is. And they serve it with a cabbage for a little bit of crunch. And of course, salad. The sauce of this is um, vinegar, chili paste, and a little bit of sugar, and maybe sesame seed, and a hint of sesame oil. So what I love about this restaurant is they keep it very simple. Their flavors are very true to the quality of their ingredients. This is one of my favorite salads here, and one of their best sellers actually. So the pancakes are here. I'm sad that they don't have my favorite, but this is my second favorite, so that's okay. This is actually made of uh, zucchini and chives and very little amount of uh, flour batter. So when you see Korean pancakes that have thick batter and just a few vegetables on top, you know you're not in a very good Korean restaurant. So the batter is only there to serve the purpose of holding all the ingredients together. This is exactly how you're supposed to make a good pancake. And I also like my pancakes served uncut because I just like to tear away at it. It's a traditional way of eating it. Yeah, a little bit of sauce. You really taste the freshness, all the flavors of a good zucchini, which I love. And here is our pork neck, which is marinated in the fermented soybean paste. And soybean paste is quite salty on its own. So without having to put additional salt or soy sauce in your marinade, the pork tenderizes and it gathers all the seasoning from the paste itself. They've used pork neck, which is actually one of my favorite cuts because it's really got that nice flavor, the right amount of fat. So this is how you enjoy it. So pork is always best enjoyed with a little bit of ginger. And then here is a little bit of chili paste to add spice. I like adding a little bit of onion that they grill here. Wrap this the way you would wrap a samgyeopsal. So this is tofu and mushroom soup. But if you don't like spicy, try their bulgogi soup. So that's very good and not spicy at all. This goes perfectly together. After the salty and sweet pork, spicy soup. Soju please. Just kidding, it's pretty. <laughs> and I love mugwurts. We use a lot of mugwurts in Korean soup. It adds that very unique flavor. We do this Korean style. No serving bowls. Just go straight at it. Just all the food I eat. <laughs> I'm moving around for the next restaurant. Okay.